Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be working on a prompt in our, from our ATC group. Uh, if you're into ATC making, join that group. It's called ECD ATC and it's fun. Now the prompt for April is Easter. It's the 1st of April today while I'm filming this and that's Easter Monday. So I just thought it was appropriate to do this. And I'm going to do a fun technique that I've picked up on from Els van der Burgt, who is the owner of Elizabeth Craft Designs. And she did a video a long time ago about working with glitter and uh, the, the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, I want to say soft finish cardstock. I'm using that as well. Uh, clear double sided adhesive which is great fun. So uh, yeah, let's dive in and make some glittery, because that's what we're gonna do, glittery ATC cards. Now, on my desk, I've got lots of stuff and I will talk you through. This is a sheet of the Elizabeth Craft Designs double-sided adhesive uh, onto the soft finish card. And I'm just gonna peel that off. So peel that off. I'm gonna put that on here. Being careful not to touch the stickiness too much. Then I've cut out this piece out of the release sheet from that stuff and that makes a perfect stencil. So uh, don't throw that away, use that to your advantage. And I'm gonna put that right sort of in the center of my ADC card. Right sort of, do you like that? <laughs> I like that. Uh, take another piece of release sheet and just rub that on. Making sure that's well stuck down. There we go, then we've got this. Then I'm gonna take my coffee filter and I've got my coffee filter in a little box with a swiffer cloth on the bottom. The swiffer cloth will grab a hold of all the glitter so you don't uh, have that everywhere. Well, I still manage to get it everywhere, but that's user error, that's me. <laughs> um, then I've got chocolate, which is a really dark brown. And I'm going to throw that all over my ADC card, making sure all the sticky bits are covered. Tap that off. Then I'm gonna take a really soft brush and brush that off. Now, this doesn't look really glittery now, right? There's a trick to that, and that will change it completely. But first, let me get rid of this glitter, because that will be a disaster if that goes everywhere. There we go. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and my finger in this case, and I'm going to polish this. So with light pressure and circular motions, be careful not to lift up the release sheet. And just by doing that, you sort of polish it. And I will lift it up so you can see the difference. See that? On this side, it's now nice and glittery, and this side is dull. So we do that all over. Then I'm going to take my brush again and make sure all the excess is off, also from the back. And then I'm going to peel off this stencil, revealing all that stickiness, which is still clean, you see? And what you do with this, you start with the darkest color and work your way up to the lightest. In this case, that is the Silk Microfine fine Glitter in a Warm Diamond. And the Warm Diamond and the Cool Diamond, they're both transparent, and that's why you need to do these last, because otherwise you will see everything that falls, that comes through underneath. So. I'm going to cover this. Ooh. Let me get my coffee filter in. There we go. And I'm just going to cover all of that with that gold glitter, or not gold, diamond glitter. And I'm going to take my brush again, brush that off. like so. Already looking really cool. 
Now the prompt for this month is Easter, as I said. So I'm going to start with an Easter card, um, or an Easter ATC card, I should say. And then I'm going to move on to some other bits and bobs that are more springy. But first things first, and that is this one. So one diamond can go, this can go to the side. And then I will just polish in that warm diamond. And this, it's funny, but it really has a silky feel to it. It really is silk microfine glitter. It doesn't hurt your finger as well. You see that? This is a really cool look. So, and it's not dimensional, but it does look dimensional in a way. So it's, yeah, love that. So that's the base of the card. Done. Then I've got all these bits and bobs. So let's get to it. Um, first, I'm going to start with these. These are small leaves that I want to put on there. And these bits and bobs come from a die set. Just let me get off my finger, you. This one, the Easter basket. Fun little set, we're gonna use that for this one. So I'm go going to use my um, go to green for this one. And I will go to this one as well, making sure it's all Nicely covered. There we go. I'm gonna put those in here. Now they're a bit flimsy. So we gotta be careful with polishing in a second. Beautiful color glitter this. Now the Elizabeth Craft Science glitters are not biodegradable. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. That that's why they're in Europe. Um, not for sale anymore. Um but lots of retailers still have them because they can sell their stock and then when it's gone, it's gone in Europe. In the US, we still have these. So let's just polish that a bit. Being careful, as I said, look at that. Fun, fun, fun. So element one done. Let me polish this one. And then we need a couple of Easter eggs. So let me just... And what's also easy, with these tiny bits, you don't have to throw it all. You can just do it like this. And then, like this, polish it and be done with it. So that, that's gonna go pretty quick. See, we've got a nice glittery egg. And I'm going to do a blue egg, because well, why not? It's Easter, bright, colorful. Or teal, I should say. I love this teal. This is the, let me tell you, soft teal, which is a beautiful color. And polish that. So, Easter Bunny, I'm going to do a slightly different color scheme. I'm going to dip him into the brown. So dip that in, polish that. And then I'm just gonna give him pink ears because why not? I like that. You can play with it. So you can even color different parts using that glitter. You see? So that's the elements already all colored. So these can go to the side. So now what I found in my stash as well from a video I did the other day is uh, these little bits. And I like that on there just to build up these elements a bit. So I'm gonna glue these on. There you go, that's that. And then I'm going to take my little leaves that on the top just using my block to press everything down making sure that it's well adhered but 
But look at that. I love this. So then I'm going to take my Easter Bunny, put him right there. I think that's fun, sitting on there. Hiding a bit behind these leaves. Putting the big ones in the corners. And the smaller ones in front of that. And this one fell over. And this one just sits up straight. There we go. That's my Easter one done. Put a stamp on the back, the ATC stamp, and you're ready to go. So yeah, that's I love this one. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. And it's going to be a bit of rinse and repeat. So I'll, I'll, I'll move through this quite quickly. Um, but it's going to be fun. I'm loving this. Right, so peeling off that release sheet again. like so. And then I've got this one, the circular circular one from the same set as the other one. So this is the bubble wrap, the actual bubble wrap, bubble wrap die. I'm going to put that onto my release sheet. Yep, like so. And do the same again, press that down. So again, use that release sheet, cut out shapes of that and use that as a stencil for your inks, but also for this. So, with this one I had in mind to use that brown again. So, covering up that brown. And I'll go higher speed now so you can actually see how quick it goes. So make sure that's well brushed off. Put back that brown. Then I will just quickly polish this. And then instead of doing that warm diamond that we just used, so I'm gonna peel this off. Look how cute these dots are. Loving that. So I'm going to use that teal, brown and teal. Love that combination. So I'm just going to cover this up. Brush it off. And then the teal will go off the brown because that's already the stickiness is gone. So how much fun is that? So that's that background done. On to the next step. I've cut out my little feather that came in the beautiful butterfly set, the ornate butterfly set. Um, and I'm going to peel off that really sheet there. Now I'm going to use a lavender for the top. So I'm just gonna put that on. I've got a darker one, this is blue green. And I'm going to use that to cover the rest. There we go. I'm going to brush off the excess. And then I will just polish this. There we go. Beautiful two-toned feather. Now I've got a piece of gauze here that I'm just gonna butcher. That makes it stand out a bit more. So just need to butcher this up a bit more. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm putting glue on my feather. Then I'm going to pick that up. Like so. And put some glue on the back of this again. I 
and stick that down. Like so. Now, obviously, this needs a bit of time to adhere, so let me put some weight on it. While I'll get out my sentiments, and this is from the journal phrases three, I should say. Yeah. I'm always thinking about what was it, but it's number three already. And I'm going to cut out one of the sentiments to put on there. Playtime. I think that covers it all because this for me is really playtime. Not overthinking, just going with the flow and see what it brings. Get out of your head. That's for me. When I started art journaling, that was for me the biggest thing. Get out of your head and just play. So, I love that. Putting some glue on there. And there we have it. And I love ADCs, little pieces of art. You see? So, we, this video is not that long and we've already made two. Two fun, glittery cards. So, we're going to do one more, which is going to be slightly different. So, peel off that release sheet again. And then I've got this little element that is coming from the torn set. And I'm going to put that... Um, yeah, I'm going to offset that. Like so. Then take that release sheet again. Press that down really well. Especially this one because it's quite a detailed one. And then I'm going to think about what color I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use, just to stay in the pink and green, uh, and this works best if you have really contrasting colors. So I'm going to use the, the green for this first. So I'm covering up this whole piece with that beautiful green. And I'm not a green person, but I'm loving this green. Taking it up, brushing it off again. So the whole process is the same. But think about Christmas ornaments making circles uh, or ATC circles or and take my tool hence finger and polish this green in again now here you can go with circular motions here I would start in the middle and just push out because you don't want this to lift up and these little pieces if you go around in circles you risk that it uh, you lift it up and then it will not have the sharp edges. You will see what I mean in a minute. Hopefully, if I've done it right. So this I'm just going in one direction and the other one, but not swirling around as much. There we go. Now, we're peeling off this and you see how gorgeous and sharp that is. Now, now we're going to take pink. Or what is this called? Yeah, peony pink. Now, if you want to try this with ink, you won't get it like this. Look at that. And then you polish it. And it's really singular layer, flat, soft and silky glitter. So I really don't like the feeling of glitter on my fingers, but this I can handle. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, gotta love it. 
Okay, now I've got another feather that I want to use. And I'm going to change the color scheme around for this one because uh, I don't want to have the same colors in there. So I'm going to my two teal colors. So this is going to be more of a tone on tone look. And then I'll just polish that. Really buff that in. Lovely. Brush the excess off and then we're done with the glittering. And I know I said I didn't want to put anything behind this one, but I just love the look. I just looked at it over here. I just thought, oh, that looks cool. So why not do it? So, and that sort of makes them match color-wise the glitter. That's going to be on there. It's nice and fresh, I think. So let's do that. Did that. I can tick this off my list. Wanted to do this for a long time. It was the first time for me, guys, as well. Um, so that goes to show how easy this technique is. Everybody can do it. If I can do it, anyone can. And there we have it. Three ATC cards done with that glitter technique. Look at that shine. This was the Easter prompt. Loving that one. Loving this with the dots on the back. And the last one we did as well. So fun technique. So if you have the double-sided adhesive, use it. Don't throw away your backings of that because that makes perfect stencils to use for these. And these stencils you can reuse. I mean, this one I can reuse again. So, so that was it for today. If you like this, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, again, if you want to join in the fun with the ATC group, join us in ECD ATC. And I would love to see you for the next one. Next video. Wow, that will be grunge to the max. Playing with paints, playing with pastes, and a fun, fun, fun technique. Uh, yeah, join in for that one. I'll see you there. Bye.